I actually got a tattoo after that happened. And um, it's a sleeve. It's right up there all the way down. And um, anyway, Sonny's uh, sort of a big reason why I got it. Uh, why I thought I should get one. Yep. Uh, I wanted something to sort of represent him. And so I'd never forget him and that type of thing. And then my wife brought up a really good point. There's a lot of special people in my life that aren't, you know, alive currently, but are still present, you know, the way I think of them. And yep. um, she sort of said, why don't you have something that represents that? And Sonny's a part of that. So I went and saw a guy in New Zealand um, and he did actually the Once for Warriors tattooing. Oh, yeah. Movie. Yeah, Inia, Inia Taylor. And um, anyway, it took 24 hours to do this tattoo. I went three Sundays in a row over the February yep. and after Sunny went missing. Um, uh, eight hour sort of sessions. And during that whole time, you speak to a person, you know, a lot, about a lot, for eight hours, and he, explained all the different patterns and representations yeah. and different things and it's my story and all of that um and i've got a turtle that represents the spiritual side and the turtle is said in polynesia there was you know man made a commitment with the sea that if um if the land took something special from the ocean it would give something special from the land yep. back to the ocean and um india told me that they won't ever find Sonny. And I could never understand that. Anyway, my tattoo finished. And on the Monday after he finished my tattoo, he rang me early in the morning and he said, you're not going to find Sonny, mate. And I go, okay, so how do you know that? And he goes, there's been a turtle just washed up on Muroi Beach, which is sort of one of the beaches not far from Bethel's and it's the way the current goes. Yep. And he goes, you know, the ocean has taken something very special from the land. Yeah. And this yeah. turtle is a very old turtle, a big old turtle that is, you know, it's come up onto the beach and it's died. And he said, that is, that is the answer that you're not going to find it. And the centerpiece and of the my tattoo was a turtle. And the turtle yeah. was the one that washed up the next day after I finished my tattoo. And we've never found Sonny's body. No. And the turtle's pretty big in the Polynesian culture too, so... It is. Um, yeah. I was worried about it being, being like a plastic kiwi by getting this tattoo. And in here, explain it in a really good way. He goes, it's like buying Chinese, mate. You don't have to be Chinese to eat Chinese. Oh, and I go, oh, okay. He goes, you know the story. It, rep it's, it represents your journey. That's right. You know, I've got Celtic, which is, you know, I've got Scottish, English and Welsh heritage. So that's the underlying, I've got indigenous, which is my Australian side. Um, I've got Tong and Samoan and, and Maori with yep. all of my, you know, interactions obviously with living in New Zealand and all of the different, you know, the waves and the shark's teeth and the muka, you know, the, the kurus and all of that. Um, yeah, I've got four kurus on, on my uh, turtle, which is my grandparents. Yep. And all of that sort of stuff. So, yeah, it's another, I suppose, reflection on my time in New Zealand and how special it was.